Podcast City Network. Good evening, everyone. You're listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell Podcast. Tonight, I'm going to have to be talking to the one and only Daredevil, Dave Dahl, indie pro wrestler. We're going to see what he's up to and much, much more fans. Let's talk wrestling. Tune in right now. Daredevil Dave Dahl, how are you, man? I am good, man. I am I'm on a high. Are you? Like, how was your day today? What you, What did you do? Just normal stuff, you know. Yeah. Hang out with my my little ones and yeah, all that fun stuff. How old? How are the how old are your? Uh... Uh, my stepson is eight, and my daughter is fifteen months. Oh man, that's good age group. You know, my nephew, yeah. my nephew's four years old and seven years old. So it's like you know how it is. It's it's like it's great though. My other sister has you know a boy and a girl. So it, you know it's it's but they're they are the smartest kids in the world. They're all smart kids. You know what I mean? They just yeah. you know they take after what we you know what we do. You know how we as an uncle. You know what I mean? Like it's it's like it's it's amazing what they can you know learn. And, process you know but they don't know anything about wrestling isn't that funny like i don't show yeah. them any of my death match toys <laughs> <laughs> or like collectibles they don't know that i get i show them the figures though they'll play with those you know the yeah most, but, most kids play with those. <laughs> i know now they're like uh special limited edition 3000s i don't know you know it's like it's 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 gone beyond what we used to collect as a kid you know yeah you know but uh man i'm glad i had I, i'm glad i contact you this is kind of fun to have you uh i'm sure you have you been on a podcast before i've done a few of them yeah cool 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 yeah you uh yeah it's like hmm. all right czw he's in the dojo he's he knows what he's doing and uh you know yeah i'm, I'm right now i'm still just on the dojo Wolves yes roster, yes but, yeah Hey. Just to clarify, it's two separate things. I know, I know it is. I want people being like, "What are you talking about? He's in CCW. He's, he's yeah, he's, he's on the main show." Well, no, wait a minute, but he no. will be there one day. Wait, wait, the day's coming. Hang on, you know. But there's so many guys on the rise. You know, there are a lot of you guys. You know, you just it, and you have a lot of young guys. I know, too. like you have you have guys like just announced today. It's like Chris Bishop facing Mac McIntosh. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, know, Jordan Oliver, the youngest wire champion. Mm-hmm. Casey Navarro, yeah, a bunch of young guys that go out there and kill it every time. Yeah, so. but look where look, look look where Jordan Oliver is now. You know, signed with a full time deal with the company that's like kicking ass. Right. You know, yeah, with MLW. No AEW. I mean, yeah. Is it no. in? what? Oh, he's not on AEW. No, I thought he's MLW. Oh, he is. Okay, Jordan Oliver. Good. I thought he was. No, no. I'm thinking of somebody else. Then <laughs> there's so many <laughs> there's so many guys on that freaking AEW. Roster, it's like you can't keep track, you know. Unless he signed something I didn't know about. <laughs> no, the only one that we don't really know about is Joey Janela, you know. Yeah. Though uh, an original from CZW, but like we, you know, before the indie scenes, you know. He's yeah. like, you know, it's funny is about Joey. I grew up watching him at 16 years old, like you know, just go to local shows as a fan. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's pretty funny. It is cool. It is cool. But we all start as fans. I mean, uh, yes, exactly. If we weren't fans first, we wouldn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what made you get into wrestling? What was your like? How'd you uh, come about it as a kid? So it, yeah, or it's a, growing up. It's a full circle story for me, actually. Yeah. So when I was a kid, I played football for a year, mm-hmm. and one of my coaches was actually a wrestling coach as well. Yeah. So he's like, "Oh, you should wrestle." So I'm thinking. Chairs, tables, prop cakes, suplexes, <laughs> yeah. all kinds of, you know, the crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. I sign up. It's not bad. Yeah. But I still got to beat people up and have fun, so mm-hmm. I stuck with it for, I still do it now. I go and coach. Yeah. And then uh, I started doing this when I was 20, almost 21. Mm-hmm. 
and I've been doing this ever since. So, it, like I said, it's full circle. I thought yeah. it was this. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. Stuck with it. Now yeah. I teach little kids it. Yeah. And then, you know, now I'm still doing this. It's and it's cool. a blast. Like, some of my wrestlers have come and seen me do this. Yes. And they're like, wow, like, how do you do this on top of what you teach us in the wrestling room? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, like, weird because, you know, they don't know what you guys go through, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a full, you know? I mean, I've seen it. You know, as a fan, and go, I, you know, just sat watch training you before. You know, like it's pretty cool what you guys do, and it's just the whole, the whole day. You know, the whole day of a show, and you know, you just got to learn move for move, and you know. Yeah, I have a whole routine I go through before I head out for a show, and uh-huh. if they get interrupted, I feel off. But you know. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, dojo, the CZW, you know, you got the dojo. It's it's been around for, it's. For generation, I say, right? Generations almost. It's a has pretty been much. pretty much, but it's like you think about it. But it's a you know, it's the learning point, you know, the stepping stone to uh, you know to produce a product and you know what it is today, wrestling. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean we, if you don't if you don't have a feeder system, then yes. you know, eventually you're going to be just pulling outside people all the time. And mm-hmm. Nobody's going to be loyal, and mm-hmm. you're not going to have the product you want to have. Mm-hmm. What made you think of CZW? CZW growing up, or just like hearing about them through friends? So, me and my buddy actually discovered them yeah. when they were still on TV. Yeah. And then <clears throat> when I started training, I actually started training down at a place called Force One. Mm-hmm. So Force One and CZW had like a working relationship. Yeah. So like, I would go and help on CZW shows and do security and mm-hmm. whatnot. Mm-hmm. So like... When I left Force One, that was the first place to go. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't really stay there. Like, yeah. So I started in 2011, mm-hmm. training-wise. Started doing shows in 2012. But, and then, like, 2013, I was training pretty hard with uh, Monster Factor at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout, I, shout out I, to uh, Danny Cage. That place is awesome. You know, they do a yeah. good, good job. Danny, with Danny's yeah. a good guy. He is. I like Danny. Mm-hmm. Um so then I, I had left there, and I was just doing spot shows, like mm-hmm. maybe one or two a month mm-hmm. or whatever. A local show here really, and there. Yeah. 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 yeah, Really wasn't putting much effort into it like I should have been. And yeah. then, like, finally this year, I was like, wait. It's your time of the year because I saw battle, battle royales, and you put yourself in there. And I'm like, this is great. This guy's got to, got to get an opportunity, you know? Yeah. And, like, I would, and I wish I could go every – it's hard going on a Wednesday, you know? <laughs> or, like, yeah. it's very hard for the fans, you know? I, I Especially where I live, right? Jersey Shore. I have to take like an hour and a half, you know, hour and a half almost just to hit Route 70. <laughs> but yeah, finally at the beginning of this year, I like looked at my daughter and I'm like, yeah. how can I tell her to go achieve her dreams mm-hmm. and work hard for them if I didn't for mine? And then ever yeah. since then, it's just clicked. Yeah. You know, I've gotten booking after booking after booking. Uh-huh. I got a sponsorship from the people that made my singlets. Uh-huh. So like, I'm doing stuff... Not a lot of guys get to do. Mm-hmm. You know, I have certain trips and tours coming up that mm-hmm. are going to be awesome. That's, Can't wait. Oh, man. Can't necessarily say everything. No, no. You can tell me after. I, wait until uh, yeah. we'll, we'll let people hear about it after, you know. He'll be back. Yeah, He'll um, be back on. One of the trips is down to Georgia Ooh. to the Superstars of Wrestling Fan Fest. Oh, cool. And being part of that show and helping out at the Fan Fest and everything with all the legends that are going to be there. Oh, wow. Legends. So, it's always cool to meet them, seeing them, oh, and, yeah. you know, all the time. If you're a wrestling fan, come on. It's like I met Harley Race to Larry Zabisco. You know, like the list goes on and on. You could talk about whoever, you know. Like yeah. you, can, and it's great when you can actually just sit there and learn from them too. Yes, have yes. them watch your match and give you a critique. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who? What legends did did you grow up watching? Who are your favorites? So, mm-hmm. I, this is. Not everybody likes this opinion. So my one favorite WrestleMania match Mm -hmm. is the Rockers versus uh, Barbarian and Haku. Mm -hmm. Or Ming. I think it was Ming at the time because it was WWF. Yes. Yes. So um, Barbarian's a cool dude. I've met him Mm -hmm. a few years ago, and he was cool as hell to hang out with. Yeah. But uh, the Rockers versus them was just cool because you had smaller people who, mm-hmm. you know, are facing these giant monsters mm-hmm. in everybody else's eyes. And everything just made sense. Yeah. You know, it showed you that 
smaller guys can work with the bigger guys and it can still make a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. And it's just well done. I mean, and the storylines and the storylines were always great. You know, what I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the original. Like we grew up. Like I, re- I remember growing up, and you know, I actually went to WrestleMania Five with my dad and seeing the Rockers versus uh, who, uh, who? Who did they face that night? Demolition, I think, and they lost or something. I can't remember. But yeah, the first WrestleMania I saw was WrestleMania Seven. So yeah, because that was the technically the year I was born. Right. Because I was ninety. Yeah, and then. I didn't see him probably until like ninety three, mm-hmm. but that yeah. was the first one I saw. Yeah, that that's like it's like me, like man, being there and just like my dad and I sitting. We were in nosebleeds up in you know in Atlantic City at the Trump Trump Plaza, you know the Trump, you know the uh, big hall there, the convention center, and like my God, it was like I was excited because you know what we're sitting next to three rows, five rows away, Jesse the Body and Gorilla doing the commentary way up in the nosebleeds, hearing the yeah. hearing the thump of the ring from up there, like, the, you know, the echo of the microphone. It was just insane, you know. And then, this, of course, as a fan, I had a fluorescent Mega Powers Explode sign, you know, <laughs> just to represent the Hogan and Savage, you know. Uh, the good old days. The good old days, because you know what? Everybody asked me, hey, do your Macho Man. Well, you know something that I always do with the Macho Man any day you want. <laughs> Dig it. You know? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, every, everybody has the one they can impersonate or try Or to. Mick Foley. You know, like, when Mr. Sacco comes around, you know? It's just... I can't really do it because my nephew's here, but yeah, it's great. I'll do it another day. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, but like growing up, so it was the Attitude Era when I really, really yeah. was into it. And you had WCW as well. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, I knew Razor and Diesel from yes. MB and M. And I know Miss Kevin Nash and Scott Hall as well. Mm-hmm. So, like, those guys were great to watch. Mm-hmm. I got to, I finally gotten to meet at least both of them. Mm-hmm. Kevin Nash a long time ago. Yeah. Scott Hall just this past Icons Collector Fest. Mm-hmm. As I was there as a guest with uh, another podcast. Yeah. And... And it was cool. These guys, like, they're they're just like us. You know what? And I, no I'll tell you a story here. I I actually saw it when I was younger. There was the Iron Mike Sharp Wrestling School that ran in Brick Township, New Jersey. And uh, every Saturday, I'd go watch wrestling with my dad. And we, because my neighbor was the, I guess the, you know, my, one of my my hair cutters was right there too, of course. But X Pac was there as the Lightning Kid. How yeah. isn't that amazing? Like, just you would, like, you wouldn't think, like, you know. Here's this guy, just a young little kid bouncing around a ring, and now you meet him, you know, now he's a podcaster too, <laughs> right? You know, but just to see careers like these guys, it's like, wow, you know, to to where they were, you know, but now it's like they they washed up, you know what I mean? He had his days. Mm. But, yeah. And I also um, saw Classy Freddie so- Blassie was there in Nova, would it be always to be, a, you know, in the wrestling ring? It was great. I wish that was still around, you know. Poor Iron Mike, yeah. you know. Go ahead. So I, yep. I got to watch people like Brett and mm-hmm. Sean and, mm-hmm. you know, Kurt Angle came in mm-hmm. as I was older, like 10 or so. Yeah. So like, like my new singlets that are coming from uh Yeah, I saw that. Gear. That looks sweet. That looks Those sweet. are inspired by the way he could always incorporate yeah. the American flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or some kind of patriotic symbol yeah. into his singlets. I'm like... I kind of want to do that as an homage to him as well. Yeah. But also have my own feel to it. And yes. They knocked it out of the park. Their design team mm-hmm. did it amazingly. Yeah. Like, oh. none of that was me. Yeah. I mean, the skull was already on my singlets I have now. That was the only thing I gave them. Mm-hmm. And they killed it when they did this. Yeah, wait till you, like, <laughs> wait till you get it. and Well, you probably have it. Almost coming pretty soon, but you know, wrestling. Uh, it should be yeah. here probably by the end of September. Ooh, maybe, maybe I'll have to catch you at a show. I have to go. Because uh, yeah, they, yeah they I know they. Do, I know they stuff. do. The, I know they do the Dojo Friday shows and stuff. I think. Yeah, yeah. the super shows. The next yes. one is September twentieth. Yeah, maybe I'll try to get out there. Who knows? I'll it's f- actually a benefit for mm-hmm. an animal organization. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, the. One big match that actually was just announced this past Wednesday mm-hmm. is a cybernetico. Mm-hmm. Eight men on each team 
going at it. Mm-hmm. DJ Hyde as a captain mm. and Corey Dillinger as a captain. Ooh, Corey Dillinger. I know that name well. <laughs> yes. He's a good friend, too. He's great. He can, so we'll see who yeah. lines up on the teams. Starting this coming week, we'll start the team picks. Picks, yeah. That's awesome. I know you guys did that. I was watching the I was watching the memorial show for a while. That was pretty inspiring. You know, you another yeah. guy. It's it's a shame, man. Great guy. Love Lyle. He was one. Of, I, I know. I cut a promo. Yeah. Um, it was put on the Dojo Wars YouTube page. Mm-hmm. If you want to go find it, you can. Yeah. Um, but like all I did was talk, mm-hmm. and literally he is one by was one of my best friends in the business. We yeah. Were, we weren't always talking about wrestling. We talked no. about video games yeah, yeah. And life and all kinds of stuff. And it was just great to be around. His energy and, his energy at a wrestling show at CZW and at H2O and On Point and Wrestling were just great. Dog. Yeah. He was at every single dog show I was ever on. Mm-hmm. Or event, sorry. Yeah. Dangerous to Gentlemen Wrestling yes. Gladiators doesn't run shows. They run events. The promoter will kill me if I call it a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me just correct that. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Dr. Zimmerman, Dr. Zimmerman, or Luke, yes, I've had him. Dr. Zirconium. Yes, yeah, Zirconium, whatever, okay, shout out to him, hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can talk your ear off too. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, trust me. Mm-hmm. We actually, we were doing a special show, mm-hmm. or event, on the 13th of September, mm-hmm. same night as CZW, Down with the Sickness, Yeah. Um, at Rowan, but it's only for Rowan students, mm-hmm. current Rowan students, with, you know, current ID. Yes. So that will be cool. Yeah, there's Davy Boy Swift Jr.'s on it. Mm. Uh, Father Bob, the Patriot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bob Evans and Tim Hughes were just added to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vinny Fixer, Patch. Yeah. Myself. Mm-hmm. Sean Donovan. Mm-hmm. This goes and uh, millions of Titus. Yeah, all good old Rhett. Remember and that? Breaker, and Breaker. Breaker yeah. Morant. Can't yeah. forget about Breaker. Yeah. Man, Brett. I mean, Rhett. Rhett. Rhett the Threat. There you go. I remember. <laughs> There's another local Jersey wrestler who ever, you know, Joey's That had, weekend is yeah. packed with shows, though, because you have yeah. us doing that at Rowan. You have CZW doing their thing mm-hmm. at the uh, Coliseum mm-hmm. that night mm-hmm. with a triple threat match for the heavyweight title. Yeah, and then you got uh, Saturday. It's going to be, uh, what is it, uh, On Point's doing. No, no, that's this week or next week coming up. On Point's doing a show. Is doing yeah, On Point has their survival of the sickness coming up. Have you been to have you, have you been to one of those events? Uh, on Point's tournament? No, no. I have been to TOD. Yeah. I worked for On Point in the past. Yeah, with Loudy. Yeah. Yeah, Loudy's a good dude. He's like cool. Loudie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, on Point always does a good. They you know, yeah good show. they do. And one of my good. I mean, they're, they, and of course, Matt Tremont, you know, the bulldozer, you know, yeah. the two originals of the company, but then they split it up, you know, but then, mm. yeah, I mean, it happens. Sometimes that's just a good thing. But Matt, I mean, Tr- I'll tell you what, went to. I'll tell you what, look what Matt has done. Like, we know. Exactly. He's built, he's gone from deathmatch, he's going everywhere. Like, he's like a travel, he's a travel wrestler, and he books shows and throws a show on every single weekend. At for H two O, it's un- unbelievable. Or no, another organization will come in. You know, it's like a lot of these local companies and out of state companies. And it's going to be in, like ICW is coming from Milwaukee. Like that's going to be awesome. I'm like blown away. You know. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a good little thing. It's a stationary thing. You mm-hmm. don't have to move the ring. You don't no. have to do anything. Like no, it's a good little building. Like OTW used to do the same thing, yes. running out to people. So yep. It's good that Matt <laughs> took it over and is kind of doing the same thing. Because, uh-huh. you know, a lot of people were running out of there. So if he didn't, no. then he's missing a business opportunity to make some little bit of extra money for himself. Uh-huh. Oh, and don't forget. H2O. And do not forget. And, he, oh, do not forget that he's going to put on the very first, you know, no ring death match. That's going to be interesting. That's kind of a. Um, I'm, it's not the very first. No, 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 I know, but at his build, at the H2O. At, at the H2O, yeah. Sorry, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Cat, so, yeah, I was uh, going to say, because yeah, Cass. Yeah, you got to clarify that a little bit, because, you know, you don't want to piss off anybody. No, we don't. Sorry, Cass. Sorry, Cass. <laughs> Casanova, he knows, you know. But, yeah, Cass, but, yeah, it's tough. But it's, not even that, like, so you have, C, you have Dog doing that event, you yeah. have CZW doing Down with the Sickness, mm-hmm. you have 
um, Modern Vintage running at the Coliseum Sunday. Yes. Uh, yes. With SCU coming in, Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. Mm-hmm. If not their last appearance, one of the very last, uh, yeah. close to last indie appearances before right. AEW's on TV. Yeah. Uh, you got Dreamer and Sabu and mm-hmm. C.W. Anderson. Um, yeah. I, I'm on that show as well. Oh, cool. Awesome. So I get to I get to rub elbows with some of these guys. It's going to be kind of cool. That's it, you know. Um, I'll be teaming with Dylan Mesh, who's my partner at Dog. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of great things coming up. There really like, is a lot. And plus, you got Dropkick Depression on yes. uh, September seventh, mm-hmm. which is for a great cause and a great thing. You know, mm-hmm. you know what they're doing is awesome. And uh, I reached out and I got myself into their battle royal. Oh, sweet! Oh, well, that's so awesome. I, you know, I like I like doing charity. You charity got it. Shows. You know what? That's fun. I mean, you guys are doing it for a good cause, and as you know, um, it's great. I like. To me, it's giving yes. back. Like my, yep. People ask me all the time, what do I want to get out of the business? And I'm like, if I make it, I make it. That's great. But like, I love the fact that I can go out there mm-hmm. and make people forget what's going on. Like, Absolutely. You could lose your job. You could, yeah. you know, lost your wife or mm-hmm. kid or mm-hmm. had death in the family. Lost yeah. Pet. Yeah. But Sickness. you still paid your money uh, and came yep. out to the show and mm-hmm. we make you forget about it. Mm-hmm. You you're put cheering, it- you're booing, yep. you're doing this, you're doing that. But you're into the show and you're not thinking for those two, maybe three hours mm-hmm. of what you have going on in life. I know. I've like, always thought about doing a, a, I've like always thought about, you know what? I probably could get an event going like a smile for, smile for laughs, you know, like for the hit disabled, like, you know, they would love it, you know? Oh yeah. They would love All it. All that kind of stuff is great. It is. It is. Cause the, you know what? You, you put your heart and soul and you think about, you know what? You're looking back at your you know, you look back and how many deaths we've seen in our families, how many friends have had died and sicknesses and cancers and, you know. All other kinds of things. Yes, yeah. And then you look back, look at these people and then they, it happens to them, you know. And, it's, and we support them and they raise money, you know, to get their medical treatments. And that's what it's all about, you know, to help try to get them that next appointment or, you know, get the, the you know, the surgery or whatever they have to get done. Yeah, you know, and that's which really is awesome. <clears throat> but man, this has been awesome. I'd like to have you come on again. How's that? I'm always down to do an interview. Yeah, I, I was like I said before, man. I earlier I was at the boardwalk for a couple hours <laughs> with the kids. <laughs> They're all the way from Butler, New Jersey, coming up for the weekend. You know. Yeah, They're going it's always to- good to have that family time. I'm on my way to D.C. for some family time this weekend. Oh, nice. The monuments and stuff. Nice, nice. Do the uh, Smithsonian, yeah. do the old, yep, all the, all the places to go, you know, have fun. Yeah, zoo, all that fun yeah. family mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. But, hey, let's set this up for a couple of weeks or so. Well, yeah, I'll, we'll talk during the week. I'll DM you or whatever. Yeah, man. And we'll get something going. But where could your fans reach you on social media? Well, first of all, what do you got coming? Well, you said you're going to be on a couple of shows. <laughs> you're, you're a busy, busy man. <laughs> you're beard. Uh, this next I month, literally, it's almost, except every- for that first weekend where I'm just doing drop kick depression. Yes. Every weekend after that, I have something going on. I'm actually wrestling or I'm going to network yeah. or something. Yeah. But every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. Awesome. And then going into October, <laughs> yeah, I'm just as busy. I, I know. Georgia. It's, yeah. Um, That's November like a... starts off with a trip to Illinois. Mm-hmm. Ooh, uh, nice. Black mm-hmm. Friday, I go somewhere that I'm not allowed to announce yet. <laughs> yeah. And I'm there for a week for seven days. Oh, cool. And seven different shows oh, throughout cool. those seven days. Oh, very so, cool. Oh, very cool. It, it, when I can announce that, it will be a lot better. Yeah. But I'm still waiting for the confirmation for it. Got it, right? Then those make those appointments, you know, you book them and get going and get your yeah. name and you're out there, you know? But guess what? You had a podcast tonight. You're, and you know what? You made a friend. And so it's all, see, it was all awesome about wrestling. You make friends and it's awesome, you know? Yeah. So, so some of the guys I talk to the most mm-hmm. are people I've met through wrestling. Yeah. It's like, you know what? I do. I do podcasts and I go to so many shows. I go to, you know, it's just like, wow. Like, I probably run into these guys and I probably see you at a, you know, behind a curtain or just walking security at the CZW. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. hey, I know these guys. You know, it's crazy. You know, it's a world we, we enjoy though. We love our wrestling. You know, we support, it's, we support the product. You know, it's wrestling, indie wrestling to deathmatch wrestling to just wrestling, you know. 
it's, whatever kind of wrestling it is, like, I love going back and teaching kids how yeah. to amateur wrestle. Yeah. Like, that's the foundation. I mean, mm -hmm. I picked up things quicker because I amateurly wrestled. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you have backgrounds like that and you are able to teach that kind of thing, or mm -hmm. if somebody's having trouble with chaining in mm -hmm. professional wrestling, you can throw them some things because mm -hmm. of knowing, you know, how things move just from being on the mat. Mm -hmm. So, man, it's awesome. Just you know, accomplish what you can. And, you know, show, them. do it. Just, yeah, it's that's, that's the goal. It is. It is. It's like the ladder, you know. You climb that ladder. What's your next ladder step? You know, you're gonna go to yeah. the next level. You know, it's like playing a video game, right? <laughs> next I mean, level. Right next level. I don't even play video games. <laughs> I mean, right I just... now, I have a lot of opportunities coming yes. with some of these trips, and mm -hmm. the main goal is to try to get up on uh, mm -hmm. CZW's main roster by the end of the year, if not mm -hmm. the very beginning of next year. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm trying. To, I'm putting a deadline of March, hopefully. Yeah. Um, if I have to extend it, I will, but yeah. I'll be kind of down on myself if I don't get it by March. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. I mean, that's up to Deej and mm -hmm. Jimmy and all the other powers that be there and what they have that might fit me and what, you know. Well, so we'll don't see. forget, I've got a lot of, I got a lot of connections in the wrestling business too. Oh, my, you know, I talked to a lot of promoters too, so, you know, I'll <laughs> spread the word, you know, that's a good plus, you know, which is really cool. Yeah, it's always good to get those connections. I know, I know. And I haven't been to a show yet, but I just say, hey, I'll be there one day, you know. I'll, <laughs> I'll be there. I'll make the trips, you know. Not this summer, but maybe next summer, you know. Yeah. It's almost over. I mean, it's already November almost. Think about it. <laughs> Family time, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, Dave, I want to say thank you for coming on. And where could your fans reach you on social media? So, on Twitter... The handle is dd underscore dave underscore doll underscore 19. It's a lot, I know, but I was trying to use the same one as my Instagram. They wouldn't let me. Uh, my Instagram is dave underscore doll underscore 19. And then Facebook, you can just search uh, Dave Doll. You'll, you'll see a double horns call and all my posts and stuff. So it's not, that, it's not too hard to find me. I'm, I'm kind of everywhere. You find me on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know, all that fun stuff. Yeah, like me. I'm everywhere. <laughs> we're all everywhere. Mm -hmm. We're everywhere. But but we're not nationally on TV, though. You know, we're not making... Well, we're not making money yet. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm not. I could be. I don't even know. I'm kidding. I wish that, I was. That's a two-hour report. I was partially on the network. Yeah. But I didn't wrestle. Yeah. So I don't count it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was just kind of sitting in the corner working the guardrail and yes. grabbing guys' gears. Yes. But still, hey, you yeah. see me. So what the, well, I must have did something right to be even in that kind of position. But I have been seen on many CZW uh, like moments, you know, <laughs> in the past. I, mean, I, was in that, I was in a Lyle Memorial Battle Royal on CZW. Yeah. I did that. I got punched by Dan O'Hara right in the very beginning as we were walking. I might have to just watch. I might have to watch rewatch that. Hmm. Obviously, he didn't want to work together and. Mm. Didn't like me very much, but eh. You know what? It happens. <laughs> yeah. He's got his coming. <laughs> he got it coming, you know? Yeah. Hey, you have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. It's almost the week. Yeah, it's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. Like, where's... Tomorrow's where's, Friday. I think so. It's payday. Yay. All right. I can pay myself, <laughs> pay, pay myself back for the boardwalk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but have a good night, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Have a good night. You too. Fans, that was awesome. That was a, that was Daredevil Dave Dahl, CZW Dojo wrestler, and uh, you know what? He's got opportunities that are knocking, and he's he's climbing the ladder. You know, it's it in the business. You take those steps to get to the next level, and uh, you know, timing is everything. And uh, he's got a lot coming up for CZW Dojo Wars and some other things. Drop kick for depression, dog wrestling. The list goes on and on. Fans, I want to say thank you for listening. And check him out. Go on and go out and say hello to Dave at a show. You know, and su support him at it. And watch him wrestle. And say hello. And get an 8x10 eight, eight and a picture with him. And, you know, all the merch as well. Support Indie Wrestling. Support Dojo Wars. CZW Dojo. 
you know, Combat Zone Wrestling, you know, that's what it stands for, Combat Zone Wrestling, but, um, you know what, he'll make his dream come true, and, uh, thank you for listening, everyone, have a great night, but not yet, because tomorrow night, fans, we're gonna be talking to indie deathmatch wrestler, the one and only, the Duke, John Wayne Murdoch, once again, he's coming on the podcast, as he's going to be taking on Drew Blood in the first round of On Point Wrestling Presents Survival of the Sickest Four Deathmatch Tournament. Fans, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be violent, it's just a night of craziness and insanity, and these guys do it for us fans, bleed. So fans, check that out tomorrow night at 8 p.m. with the Duke John Wayne Murdoch. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you for listening. Hey, wrestling fans. I want to mention Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow was founded on traditional values of professional wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product intended to connect with people on a, an emotional level. A symbolic relationship where one cannot flourish without the other. We strive to create a product that embodies our passion for professional wrestling expressed through street fashion. Visit CollarandElbowBrand.com and use the promo code DeathmatchRussellPodcast and save 10% off when you make a purchase. Collar and Elbow where wrestling passion meets street fashion. You can find more Deathmatch Russell podcasts on the following social media. DeathmatchRussell.com Follow on Twitter at DavidNJ32 and on Facebook Facebook.com slash DJDaveNJ32 Find me on Podcast City Network at PodcastCity.net Facebook.com slash Podcast City Network Hit the like button and share and on Twitter at PodcastCityNet You can hear Deathmatch Russell podcast on Stitcher Radio and on iTunes.